to my YouTube channel. Um, a lot of things have changed. For one, I am officially a Howard alumna. Um, I graduated about almost a week ago. Um, so that was cool. I guess graduating in a pandemic is a little bit weird, but we move. Um, in addition to that, I chose a law school and I have a job this summer. Um, so you probably could have guessed it, but I will be attending Columbia Law School this fall. Um, I'm super excited about that. Very first video, I was like raving all about SEO, um, the Catalyst program that I did, as well as the fellowship that I said that I was currently in the process of applying to. The good news is that I got the fellowship. Oh, this summer I will be an SEO fellow in New York City. Um, as of right now, it is fully virtual, um, but I'm still really excited. Nonetheless, I get to work with the brightest of the brightest um, at this law firm and really just dig into um, what it's like to be in corporate law. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna get more into it, but I just wanna show you guys the merch. So we have this shirt here. Um, and then we have this journal and pen. This is my second journal because Catalyst gave us one um, for that program as well. But I'm really excited because now it's kind of like a full circle moment. Like I get to use this one for all things SEO fellowship. So I'm really excited because the other one was for my Catalyst program. In addition to that, um, I have this. So for those of you who do not know, before you jump into work at the firm, um, you do get a two week long institute and the institute basically teaches you the ins and outs of law school. You do legal writing um, courses and things like that. So um, it's a little hefty as you can see. I've taken a peek at it. There's a lot of readings in here, different court cases, things like that. Um, so I'm excited. I will have to admit I am excited to learn again. Um, even though I just graduated last week, I kind of haven't had school in like a month. So I am a little bit excited about that, but that's just the nerd in me. Um, in addition to that, they sent us um, this goodie box that we're not supposed to open um, until the date specified on here. And there is a welcome letter and um, some envelopes which have like our exams in them. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, my first day of work is actually June 1st, and so, um, on May 15th, so this Saturday, we're gonna be having, like, a welcome kickoff events, things like that, um, and then from then until the 28th, I have my institute, so I'll be on Zoom every day, learning and interacting with my fellow SEO fellows. Um, I believe that there are about 150 of us, which is awesome because the program got expanded this year. Um, which only means that hopefully next year it can also be expanded and there can be more fellows, but I'm really excited. Um, there's a bunch of people who will be going to Columbia with me, so that's really exciting because now I know more people. And I was a little bit worried about that because I didn't really know anybody. Um, the people that I did know who did Catalyst, um, that I was close to through Catalyst, are actually going to other schools. But nonetheless, um, now I have SEO to bond me a little bit more with my Columbia classmates. Um, and so let's go back to me choosing a law school. Um, so yeah, I chose Columbia. I'm really excited. I low-key knew I was going to pick Columbia as soon as I left campus. I fell in love with it. Um, I also got a chance to participate in some accepted students programming and that was amazing. It really sold me. The community, the communication, um, it's just very seamless. I'm really excited for the classes that I'll be taking and the flexibility that my schedule um, could have over the next three years. So I'm really excited about that. I'm moving. I am moving to Harlem um, with my, she'll be my roommate now for the third year, my best friend Chandler. Um, we're really excited about that. A few weeks ago, we went um, over into the city to go apartment hunting, which was crazy. We saw at least 15 apartments, but we, found an apartment. It's actually the first apartment that we saw that day and we loved it. So we move in at the end of this month. I'm really excited about that. So um, 
stay tuned for the apartment tour slash move-in vlog because it's coming so just some more facts about the fellowship um it is the only fellowship of its kind to offer underrepresented um you know populations with the opportunity to work at a top law firm the summer before their first year of law school so i will be entering law school with like real world experience of what it's like to work at a top law firm a lot of benefits um i have like more insight into what kind of field i want to go to i have more experience to talk about when it's time for those interviews um those ocis and things like that in addition to that, it's a 10 week program. So the two weeks are the Institute where I will be using the booklet I showed you guys earlier. And then eight weeks will be at a firm. And I start that June 1st and I end um, at the end of July. So I'm really excited because I do have a little bit of downtime about a month um, before orientation starts at CLS. So that's really exciting. Um, and then the Institute is it's a two week intensive program that trains you in legal writing, how to take exams and things like that. So I will be hitting the ground running um, when it comes time for me to start school in August um, because I already kind of know a little bit of what it's like. So I wanna give a little bit of background on the application process for SEO. Um, I feel like I did in my first video, but I just wanted to do it over again just because this the next cycle will start fairly soon. So uh, I don't remember when I applied, when the application opened, um, but being honest with you, the year has been like blurring together, um, but I did submit a law school personal statement, a law school diversity statement, and an SEO resume. SEO does provide you with a, a um, SEO specific resume template, which was super helpful because after I had been selected to be an SEO fellow, we used basically the exact same template. Um, to submit to our law firms and it just looks way cleaner than mine ever did. So that was also a good touch. We have references. They're not necessarily a recommendation, um, but there is a like special, from my understanding, a special form that the your references do have to fill out. I think I did one professional reference, my supervisor from my nonprofit internship and a professor slash organization advisor that I have here on campus. Um, and then your application is submitted and you are selected for an interview if you are selected for an interview. Sometimes there's a second interview. I did not get one. Um, I don't really know the rhyme or reason like behind getting a second interview. I know people who've gotten a second interview um, and they have gotten accepted or they have not. So I'm not really sure. And then I found out that I was accepted on April 26th or 27th, whatever day the law school enrollment um, form was due. And so after you apply and you have your interview and everything, the last step is that you have to submit enrollment to, or proof of enrollment to a law school by April 26th, I believe was the day. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the application process. But yeah, this video is just supposed to be a little update about what's going on in my life, um, just to show you guys that I got the fellowship. Um, as always, if you have any questions about the fellowship, please, please, please reach out. 